It's doing it. Look at that. That's brilliant. <laughs> it's Joel and welcome back to the channel. Now this is a video which I've actually been wanting to make for a while and I'm quite excited to make because it really it should improve my car. Um, lots of you have been commenting below in sort of all of my videos there's a comment saying you should do this and also when I've had a few issues with my car lots of you have very kindly recommended that I should try this out. So it was a long time coming that I was going to do a video on this um, but I've actually been sent a Carly OBD. I really can't say that, it's like the third time I've tried. I have been sent a Carly OBD reader um, so that I can try it out by Carly. So I haven't paid for this, they've actually sent it to me, which is awesome um, because I, you know, I wasn't going to get one anyway, sorry, but um, amazing. So I've been sent this by Carly um, also with the full app so that I can actually sort of review this product for you guys as well. I was always going to film it but I'm actually really thankful they've sent it to me. Um, if you do, by the end of this video, decide you want to, to purchase one, there is a link in my description which they have kindly provided me, uh, which means that I can actually earn a very small commission from any purchases you guys make through it. So that would be a really cool way for you guys to support the channel if you should wish. Anyway, look, I'm not gonna list off all the things it can do right now while I'm sitting on my bonnet, because uh, I think it'd be better to just jump in the car, plug it in, and we can, we can have a look through right there and then. So then guys, here I am in the driver's seat of my Z4. Um, this is where you have to put the, the, the reader in. So it literally, it's closing my newly installed cup holder. There's a little thing under here, and you, you pull that down like that, and it reveals like a little connector, which, which basically is what this goes into. So it is simple as just plugging it in, and you'll see on the reader some lights um, come up when you, when you do that, so you know that it's on. And of course you can't actually do anything with just the reader plugged in, you need an accompanying app, which is I think what I just mentioned a minute ago, uh, which is the, bear with me, Carly for BMW app, it's literally, it just looks like that, I'm sure you can see that. Um, so yeah, so you basically, you use this app as well, and you connect to the OBD reader via Wi-Fi. I'm really sorry guys if, uh, <laughs> Some of you, I'm sure lots of you will know this, I've actually had a code reader before this one. Um, so it's, it's fairly straightforward, but if you haven't ever heard of these, I thought it might be quite helpful to just sort of run you through these bits as well. Um, but yeah, so you literally, if you've got an iPhone, it's like this, you just go onto Wi-Fi, and look, it comes up with Carly adapter. Sorry if you can't quite see that, um, but it's Carly adapter in Wi-Fi, and you connect to it. Um, so yeah, you then open, open up the app, and that is where you get all of the sort of options for, for stuff that you can do with the car. So I'll put the camera on my phone now so you guys can have a look as well. So guys, you open up the Carly application. I'll talk to you here. I've got this camera here, as you can see, which should be focusing on my screen at all times. So you open up the Carly app and you've got this page of sort of various things you can do. There's, t there's, there's, there's tons of them. Um, like I say, I haven't gone onto this yet, so I don't really know what I can do, but I want to keep this video relatively concise. I don't want it to go on for hours. So I think we'll just look at the coding. Um, so continue to coding. Check coding possibility. All right, connect to my car. So uh, do I need to switch the engine on? Ah, I need to click connect. So connect to your car. Carly is running. Cool, okay. So I'm connected. So I can go on to coding, continue to coding, check coding possibility. So this scans my car. It will scan your car as well and then it will come up with a list of all the things you can do um, to, to your car based on your specific model. Okay, so there are three ECU modules that I can code in my Z4. We've got locking and comfort functions, um, we've got the lights and we've got the cabrio module. That's the one I'm gonna look at now because that's the one I'm most interested in. That's interesting to know as well, it creates a backup um, so that if I guess you do anything wrong, it, it won't, it won't, uh, it won't permanently change your car, or at least you can revert it. So that's good to know. I don't want to. I'm not really. I don't really know what I'm doing, so I, I wouldn't want it to to change stuff without having the option to go back. So continue open close roof while driving. On, on, on. So I've got them on. Ah, oh, so this is all I can do. 
Ah, interesting. Interesting. I wonder what else there is. Let me go back out of there. Let's go into locking and comfort functions. Read out GM5. Let's do another backup. Backup created. Cool. So we've got anti theft on. Optional confirmation of unlocking the vehicle on. I don't know what that means. Um, audible confirmation on. So you'll go on here and there's all of these uh, crazy options. I'm not going to go through them all now because, again, we'll be here all day. So comfort open using remote. Press and hold the unlock button to remote open all windows and the sunroof. Ah, I wonder if that means I can open my roof with the key. Um, so let's let's just see if I can do that. So where was it? It was like comfort open and comfort lock, wasn't it? Comfort open using remote. On, comfort close using remote. On, code now. Here we go. So there's a disclaimer which I'm actually just gonna read. Okay, agreed, code now. Write encoding data to vehicle ECU during code. Oh, it's done it. Please turn the ignition off and on again. Please do not update the car software even if. Okay. Okay, so turn the car off and then on again. Maybe I'll just run the engine. Okay, that's running fine. That's good news. So, shall I see if I can do this thing from the key? Let's have a look. So. No way! That's awesome! <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Ben Rain, my friend Ben, who um, he used to have an E85 Z4. He had the slightly newer one, and I think it was standard that you could do this. But I never thought I'd be able to do it in mine, but just with this. Oh, well, that's not good. Probably should have got rid of the camera before I tried that, but anyway. That is really cool. I, uh, I actually didn't think I'd be able to do that. So there we go. So I can now unlock and close my roof from the key. I Maybe I should, should I try it from outside the car? Let's, I'll try it from outside the car. So guys, let's see if that works uh, from outside the car. I'm, do you know what? I'm genuinely not just saying this. I, I, when, I, when I knew I was getting this Carly app sent to me, I thought, great, um, I'll be able to do some cool things, I'm sure. But I didn't think that on this, 2000 the pre facelift generation of z4 you could you could do that with the key obviously you can so uh, i'm genuinely pleasantly surprised at this um so the roof is down i'm going to try and put the roof back up so lock button i think you just hold it it's doing it look at that that's brilliant <laughs> That's awesome. Now let's just check it goes uh, back down the same. So unlock and then hold, I think. There it goes. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Well, I, you know, I'm genuinely, I'm really happy with that. I'm really, really happy with that. Okay guys, well there we go, look, I'm going to leave the video at that because I realise it's probably already over 10 minutes and all I've actually coded is one thing. Um, I could I could have kept scrolling through the, all of those options and showing you and we would actually be here until next week, so I don't think any of us want that. Um, if you would like to see more videos with this, 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 me, me using this app on my car and coding various things, let me know because I'm probably, after I've stopped filming this, I'm going to have a little play myself so if you want me to film any more with with the app i actually would be more than happy to um yeah wow i'm actually really i'm really happy with that if i haven't said i, I think i've been going on for too long about the fact i can now do that with my roof so great <laughs> look i hope you guys have found this video interesting slash fun i found it quite fun clearly um and yeah as i said at the start of the video obviously i was sent this by carly and if you if you want to support the channel and also have an incredible feature like this for yourself um, you can go ahead and, and purchase through the link in my description um, and I will get a small commission on that which is amazing um, wow yeah comment below guys of uh, if you've got this yourself and things that you've done that I should try in my car and also yeah if you'd like to see me do more videos with this app and maybe exploring it a bit more in depth let me know I don't really know how you guys will if you'll find this interesting or not so if you do really find it interesting which I hope you do 
let me know because I'm happy to do more videos with the app. So yeah, thanks once more to Carly for hooking me up with this. How incredible. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with my key now. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this one and I will see you very, very soon.